This is Christina here from Christina Articulates and I'm going to be uh, showing you Art Class Draculaura today and she is part two of my sort of birthday review of Palooza. I did get a couple of dolls for my birthday which is very very nice and uh, this is the second one that I will be reviewing. And again I know that she's not super new or anything like that but she's new to me so I'm happy to have her. And we'll just get right into it because there's no need to delay and I do have the other three dolls in this line already so sometimes it's nice to uh, complete a line like that even if uh, when you have that many it's nice to have the complete thing <laughs> and if you wanted to look at uh, reviews of the other dolls in the line um, Abby, Skelita, and Rebecca you can check out my blog, um, christinearticulates.blogspot.ca. I did photo reviews of those uh, before I started doing video reviews. So you can check that out. The link will be down below. And here she is on her backing, which, um, you know, cute like an, arts, like an art classroom. Um, and she comes with some cool stuff. And I really like the other art class dolls, so I'm pretty excited about this one because I think I'll like her just as much. I think that they were a really neat line, and I think that they were all kind of um, really well thought out. I particularly like Abby and her chainsaw. I thought, I mean, how often do you run into, you know, a toy meant, meant for, you know, meant for little girls that actually comes with <laughs> a chainsaw. I thought that was really, really cool. Especially one meant for art. Okay, she's really... There we go. Okay. And here she is. Oh, her knees are attached. Okay. So there she is. And what we're going to do is, as always, we will flip the camera around and have a closer look at Draculaura and all of the cool stuff that she comes with. Okay, and here is Art Class Draculaura out of her box with all of her accessories. She does also come with a stand and a brush. Um, they always come with a brush, but when they come with a stand, that is great. The Art Class dolls are actually kind of in between, uh, like, basic and deluxe in terms of, um, or budget and deluxe in terms of, price um, and their box size actually falls in the middle too so it is nice that they come with a, a stand like so many of the budget dolls haven't been lately. I just want to take a quick look before we get started looking at the doll. We'll look at her painting. Um, this is her piece of art which is sort of like a cubist version of herself and also her pet count fabulous up there in the corner in this really like ornate frame with hearts and spider webs and bats very Draculaura and it has a uh, stand on the back so that it can stand on the floor all on its own or on the table more likely and then she comes with um, an art class journal and we'll have a quick look at it because there is only one page of English in it so it won't take <laughs> too long um, and it just details how you know she's having some trouble deciding you know she wants to do a self-portrait but she can't see in her in a mirror so how is she supposed to do that and I like um, kind of reading her story and how she comes to to terms with what she's going to do about art and then it has a few um, sort of I imagine her works of art in there and she decides to start painting her friends as well so we have Skeleta and then we have Abby's chainsaw so I think it's pretty, I actually think it's really cute and I like the quilted design of it with the little uh, skullette bows. Very nice. And back to Miss Draculaura. And sometimes I can find, I find Dracula's color scheme, the pink and black, a little bit stark. Um, just personally, so I love the addition of yellow here. I know it's not the first time that she's had yellow, but I think it's the first time that she's had this much yellow and certainly the first time that she's had it in her hair. So she has this really cute yellow headband which has a bow on either side and then her hair is pulled back into a high side pony but then you can see there's a slight wave throughout it. Um, it's not super crunchy but there's definitely some stuff in it. It'll need a good brushing. Um, and you can see on the top here that she has streaks of pink and black going back from her 
hairline and then we have her big round bangs which have really nice thick stripes of the colors um, I think that looks great and then the yellow is continued down into her eye makeup her eyeshadow is yellow her traditional uh, heart on her cheek is pink or like a reddish pink outlined in the yellow and her lips are a nice uh, reddish pink as well and then she has uh, pink skullet earrings and her headband is a little cockeyed that's what happens when you can't see your reflection right there we go and then moving down to her outfit she has um let's see if we can figure out. I'm going to move these accessories just for now so we can have a look at her outfit. We'll go back to those. Um, she's wearing a one-piece uh, dress. It sort of looks like two pieces. And the top is this soft sort of um, buttery yellow color with these uh, light pink stripes. And then a frilly tulle at the ends of the sleeves. And then the skirt is black satiny material with pink and yellow paint splotches all over it and a yellow tool trim at the bottom. And over that, she's wearing um, a very cute pink apron with a scalloped hem and sort of a fishnet pattern, I would say, on it. And then moving on down, her shoes are amazing. And I think I remember when we originally saw these uh, appear on, I think Taobao or one of those other sites that occasionally has uh, wrong, you know, the, the molds of the shoes appear in the wrong color. Uh, we thought these might be for Katrine because of the the uh, paintbrushes crisscrossed here and the fact that the heels are uh, tubes of paint sort of spewing the paint out to create the sole of the shoe. Um, which I mean they're just they're so cool and then all over they have sort of like a basket weave pattern um, studs hot pink skullets on the side um, spider webs and things on the paint tubes they're just super super cool uh, lots of detail and very I mean Monster High again they often have really great shoes and these are certainly no exception and they go really well with the theme and then, as I said, we'll go back to uh, the accessories. So she has this heart-shaped paint palette, which we read in the journal was actually given to her by Claude, her boyfriend. And then she has a little paintbrush with hot pink paint on it. And you can see the loop on this and the hole in this means that she can actually hold the accessories as sort of as they're meant to be used and this was um, probably my favorite thing about the art class line was the fact that they really had um, they could really interact with the accessories that they came with you know Abby could hold her chainsaw Rebecca can hold her little welding gun um, all that sort of thing it's nice <laughs> when you can actually you know play with the accessories without having to attach them with rubber bands and things like that so there uh, is Miss Draculaura and there she is with her self portrait I think that she's really really cute I look forward to putting her together with my other art class dolls and as always if you'd like to see detailed photos and a more thorough review you can head over to christinaarticulates.blogspot.ca and the link for that will be down below in the description bar and you can also find links there to my tumblr and my facebook page which um, are all christina articulates as well and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you back again soon